What's up guys? Hope you're good. Dubs Hill here. Um, hope you're all well and doing good and not being driven insane during this isolation, lockdown, COVID-19 period. I hope you're all keeping creative and making plenty of content or watching plenty of content and learning, etc. and building your craft. Anyway, the reason for today's video, some of you may have seen already that I decided to purchase the Loop Deck Plus. Now, I was a little bit skeptical about this because I did read a lot of you know reviews and stuff saying it's very limited what you can do within Final Cut because I think originally this was produced originally for color grading in um, softwares like Adobe, Adobe uh, Lightroom, you know, photo editing and color grading and stuff like that. So I was a little bit low, but I thought, do you know what? I'm gonna buy one anyway and give it a go. I'm f I like to find that for myself, so I thought I'd find it for myself. So it arrived, you know, it looks great. Um, there she is, if you can see it. I will show it again in a minute. Um, the actual surface of it is fantastic. You know, the control surface is really, really intuitive and it's great to use. Um, the only issue is, is as I read in many of the reviews, Loop Deck Plus with Final Cut is very, very limited, which left me feeling quite disappointed. Um, you know when you buy something and you think it's gonna be the bollocks and you get it, and it's not all it's cracked up to be. That is how I found this. However, I did come across an app. Yes, that's right. A very, very special app. And the best part about this very, very special app is it's totally 100% free. That's right, you heard it here first. Numero uno, zero, absolutely free. Now the app I'm talking about, I'm sure many of you out there, Final Cut users and ed editors know it already. It is known as Command Post. Now, when you use Command Post with Loop Deck and Final Cut, Final Cut is a whole new world. Okay, so we've got Final Cut open. So at the top, obviously, I've already downloaded Command Post and Loop Deck. So at the top here, if we open the loop deck, open setup, and that will open up. I'll just drag this into the window so you can see it. Okay, so this is our loop deck app. So obviously you need to set it up, device, loop deck, application. There's plenty of applications down here. Um, Photoshop Premiere Pro, Capture One, Edition, After Effects. So basically to set this up, um, as I said before, you are very limited within just Loop Deck with Final Cut. So when you download, what I did, when you download Command Post, then it allows you basically to map to do so much more, so much more with this. So for instance, what I've done, um, you can see here on this control dial, you just basically click on it and it will bring up all these commands that you can do, which is just, obviously I've got mine, adjust timelines in. So you, suggest, you, you just basically select what you want to select and then hit the close button. And if we see down here, zoom in and out my timeline, which is absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So easy to do with command post. Um, I've got things like these P1 buttons. I've got these for my shortcuts um, for all my different tools. So P1 is my arrow, P2 is my blade. P3, obviously there's shortcuts on keyboard shortcuts, but the whole idea of the loop deck is to get away from using the keyboard, yeah? Four is my, you got my range tool. Okay, and then I've got other things. So for instance, I think I've got P5. If I just click up here, P5 automatically selects the transform tool. Yeah, P4. 
for crop tool. I mean, how amazing is that? How quick is that for the workflow? Okay. I've got other things on here which I've put on here. So um, obviously, normally if I want a title, I've got the titles. There are shortcuts and stuff that you can set up, and you can also use command command post for key commands, shortcuts. But now I've got the loop deck, I've got them all on buttons. So if I open up the loop deck here, open the setup again, what have I got here in uh, P5, select transform, so I think it's P6. Um, okay, so P6. So I get here, I get to where I want to go, P6. <laughs> Add basic title, how easy is that? Let's carry on, come on, let's do some more, let's do some more, it's exciting. Command Z out of that, okay. P7, add a basic lower third. I mean, the possibilities are endless what you can map Loop Deck to do in integration with Final Cut. It's fantastic. I've got these other knobs, like, um, I've got like D1 here, yeah, D1, what's D1? D1 is navigate 10 frames. Yeah, look at that, look at that. Contrast, select the next clip, wherever my clip is. Yeah, and then when we go into editing, when we come into editing, I can move to where I want. I've got these, these buttons here, I'll just show you on the screen as well, just so you can get a hang on what I'm actually doing. So C3 and C4. So if I hit C, so I'm gonna get this clip to where I wanna, where I wanna cut it. C3, watch, Bosch. I need to take a little bit off that end. C4, Bosch. I mean, how good is that? How good is that? I am so excited about this. You know, my workflow is quick, pretty, pretty quick anyway with a keyboard and mouse, but this is just next level business. I In the last week, I've edited another two or three videos in must be, without exaggerating, half the time, at least half the time. So it is actually fantastic. Another big one, big one for me, massive one is, you know when you're trying to uh, work with your audio, yeah, you need to turn this down and it's really, really sloppy trying to get this precise with the mouse. Yeah, check this. One dB at a time, one dB at a time and that, that is just set here, I've just set this exposure, adjust volume. I mean, how how refined and simple and easy and precise is that? It's just ridiculous, it's just ridiculous. And then also, I've got, um, I've done some other ones as well. Um, what we got up here, L1, I'm not gonna drag it on to one, is add a marker. So I mean, I know people use the M to add a marker in Final Cut on the timeline, that's fine, but this is just trying to, trying to keep the essence away from the keyboard as much as possible. And then we've got L2, what have we got on L2? L2 is go to the color board. So instantly, if I want to start color grading, you know, I could be here in the inspector or whatever, yeah, hit L2, bosh, there's my color board, straight up on the screen, so I can work with it. I mean, that, that, that in itself is just, you know, amazing. L3, import, I mean, Yes, you've got Command I, but again, I'm keeping my hands on the control surface as much as possible, and that's what this is all about, and that's what Command Post does for you. Yeah, that is what Command Post does for you. It keeps your hands off the keyboard. I mean, I do still use the keyboard as well, and I've only had this thing just over a week, so I'm still finding myself using the keyboard an awful lot, but that's just because I'm used to years and years of editing on an Apple Mac keyboard. So. But I am using it, especially for the volume, you know, and the shortcuts for the titles and the color grading is just, I mean, color, color grading is just ridiculous. I mean, let me just bring up, um, let's bring up a color wheel here. Yeah. So what I've done is I've set these, yeah, all these are for, for color grading. And this is, I think, set to my main contrast. So if I just show you here on the screen, um, so for instance, like the shadows, 
adjust in the shadows on here. Adjust the shadows a little bit. I mean, this is just this is just next level highlights. Bring my highlights up a little bit. A little bit of contrast. And then also I've set these other two, other two down here, temperature and tint as well, which they do exactly what they say they do. So we've got the temperature up there, add a bit of temperature and a little bit of tint. And I mean, there you go. I mean, this is just, this tool is absolutely fantastic. And I'm so glad that I found this. Let me just show you a little bit about command post as well before we go, because you're gonna like this, all right? You're gonna like this, okay? So I'm coming along here, add a marker there. Oh shit, it's in the wrong place. So I've got to right click, I've got to delete it. Then I've got to try and find the right place to do it, okay? What if we opened, open command post, go in command post, go into the preferences, preferences tab, final cut at the top, yeah? Final cut, right. Movable markers, see this down here? Open this up, there we go, right. The easiest way to enable movable markers in terminal. So basically all you need to do is copy and paste this script in here and then go into your terminal. Pop it in there, pop the script in there, I've already done it, so pop the script in there and bosh, you're away. You are away. Now watch. I'm playing this along, put a marker there. Ah, oh, damn, it's in the wrong place. Watch, ready? I mean, how just, how good is that? Whoops. <laughs> but I can move this anywhere I want now. I mean, that is just, just that on its own is just ridiculous, isn't it? It's absolutely ridiculous. So back to the command post, if you open up preferences, then another one, yeah, another one. Watch this. Show timeline in viewers. Let's click that. Now have a look at this, look. My whole timeline now is in here. Now this is great for when you've got projects with loads of busy stuff in there so you can see whereabouts you are on here. I personally don't like having it on, but some people might. So if we open up command post, final cut, and then we go into loop deck, you can see here that you get so much more settings. Obviously make sure your application's in Final Cut Pro. Then what you can do is you can click on these tabs and then you can just press select. And then what it will do is it will take you in to, for instance, if I click on here, click on select, and it gives me all, gives me all these different commands that I can set it up. It's just ridiculous, it's absolutely ridiculous. I absolutely love this, absolutely love it. So that's Command Post basically. Um, fantastic app, fantastic software to combine with the Loop Deck and Final Cut. So I've actually done the map myself. Um, if anybody's got any questions about setting up the Command Post, um, integrating it with Loop Deck and Final Cut, then you know by all means stick it in the comments and I'll do another video on exactly how I set it up and mapped it. If you do like my controls and what I've mapped all my features to, then give me a shout in the comments box and I'll send you, um, I'll actually send you my mapping so you can just add that into your uh, application support on your Mac and then you're good to go. Um, I did download and I did apply some, uh, some mapping, some settings. Um, but I found they weren't really for me. Obviously, everyone maps and customs to their own work from the way they work. So the best way to do it is just experiment with it. You know, whatever works great for you, whatever works best for you is the best way of doing it. Everybody works differently and they have a different workflow. So um, I'll encourage you to, to map your own. But if you do need any help, then please just stick a comment in the box down the bottom and then um, that'll be the washing machine it's live then stick a comment in the box and i'll get back to you as soon as possible and then i'll give you a hand um, if you like this video or you like my content please like hit the subscribe button down the bottom because i'll be back with plenty more and don't forget that bell so you know when i'm coming back i'm dubs hill thanks for watching take care see you soon